As we approach Valentine's Day, the feeling of love is in the air. And today we're going to be tackling the topic of love songs. Let's hop into the top 20 love songs from the movies. Wherever you're going, I'm going your way. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 love songs in movies. For this list, we'll be looking at romantic songs used in films that make for iconic moments and pull at our heartstrings. However, the song must be in the movie itself and not just the soundtrack. Also, we'll be excluding Disney movies and scenes where one character plays the song themselves in a direct serenade. Which of these tunes is your one and only? Number 20, When You Say Nothing At All by Ronan Keating, Notting Hill. Come on, Flopsy. Right. Right. Yeah. The Irish singer-songwriter recorded a version of this song for the film soundtrack and later released it as part of his first solo album. It highlights a particularly swoon-worthy moment when Anna and Will hop a fence and enjoy a romantic nighttime stroll. It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. The scene has particular importance, since it introduces us to the spot that the reunited couple will return to at the end of the movie. You say it best when you say nothing at all. For June, who loved this garden. But this isn't the only iconic musical moment from this charming rom-com. A cover of Charles Aznavour's She by Elvis Costello is heard over both the opening credits and the film's very last scene. She may be the face I can't forget The trace of pleasure or regret Number 19, Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. She's all that. Performed by the American pop rock band, this song functions as the theme for the teen romantic comedy She's All That. Partly because of this, it's reached number two on the US charts. The song highlights two important, though very different, scenes in the movie. The first is Lainey's dramatic visual transformation from social outcast to prom queen in training. We get to hear the song once again in the film's final moments, when Zach honours his embarrassing bet at their graduation ceremony. Zachary Siler. With romantic lyrics about sharing a moonlit smooch, the tender tune perfectly captures the burgeoning feelings between the pair. Plus, it carries some serious 90s nostalgia. Number 18, Accidentally in Love by Counting Crows, Shrek 2. Written for this animated comedy's second sequence, this song makes for an incredibly uplifting introduction. So she said, what's the problem, baby? What's the problem? I don't know. Well, maybe I'm in love. To boot, it provides an effective summary of Shrek and Fiona's unconventional love story since the first movie. Come on, come on. Soundtracking a montage of the couple's honeymoon, the tune manages to suit moments as diverse as casting wedding rings and fighting angry villagers. Counting Crows lead singer Adam Duritz struggled with writer's block while coming up with the track, but used his own life experience to shape the angle. It clearly worked out, with Accidentally In Love nabbing an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Song. Number 17, Kissing You by Desiree, Romeo and Juliet. This song was written by British singer Desiree and Timothy Atak for this retelling of Shakespeare's classic tale. It features unforgettably in a pivotal and beautiful scene in Baz Luhrmann's romantic crime tragedy. While attempting a Capulet party on a mind-altering substance, Romeo becomes transfixed by an aquarium full of fish. Desiree herself actually appears in the film, performing the tune as Romeo's eyes meet Juliet's through the glass. 
The R&B ballad features sparse instrumentation, but its dramatic strings convey plenty of emotion. The love theme fits the film's romantic tone, but also its characteristic epic scale. Number 16, Flightless Bird, American Mouth by Iron and Wine. The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 1. It's the moment that Twilight fans and the characters alike had been eagerly awaiting. Bella and Edward's wedding in the first part of the Breaking Dawn film adaptation. There's no better soundtrack for the moment that our heroine weds her one true love than Iron and Wine's tender acoustic ballad. The moment is particularly powerful since attentive fans will remember this song from before. In fact, it plays during the couple's prom dance at the end of Twilight. I dream about being with you forever. For setting a gentle and heartwarming tone, but also bringing thematic continuity to the series, this song is an indelible part of the franchise. Is it not enough just to have a long and happy life with me? Number 15, I'm Gonna Be, 500 Miles, by The Proclaimers, Benny and June. This song is instantly recognisable for its unique lyrics and catchy hook. Given its popularity, it's remarkable that Benny and June actually had a significant role in introducing the song to the US. In fact, some five years after its initial release, the tune rose to number three on the Billboard Hot 100. With lyrics about an epic display of love, it foreshadows the touching love that will grow between Johnny Depp's Sam and Mary Stuart Masterson's June. On top of that, the rowdy song playing while June paints a huge canvas is an unforgettable marriage of image and sound. Number 14, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now by Starship, Mannequin. This song was co-written by the hugely prolific songwriter Diane Warren. Unsurprisingly, it topped the US charts and earned an Oscar nomination for Best Original Song. Standing here beside you, want so much to give you this love in my heart. The power ballad is the theme to Mannequin and plays during the final scenes into the end credits. With an epic and triumphant tone, it perfectly suits the film's finale. We can build this dream together, standing strong forever. Emmy the Mannequin had previously been alive, only to the artistically minded window dresser, Jonathan. Jonathan, it's all yours. Thanks, men's room's broken. Of course, dear, whatever you say. Finally, though, she's granted permanent life as she finds true love. And fittingly, the happy couple's wedding takes place in the store window. I'm so glad I found you. I'm not gonna lose you. Number 13, It Must Have Been Love by Roxette. Pretty Woman. Stay. Heartbreak has never looked so good or sounded as sweet as it does with this romantic song and scene. Stone Pictures asked the duo to contribute a song to the film's soundtrack. Despite the fact that it was originally written as a Christmas song and released as such in Roxette's native Sweden, we're glad they picked this one to redo and re release. The new version became the mournful tune we hear when Vivian, played by a young Julia Roberts, leaves Edward, played by the dashing Richard Gere. Stay the night with me. Well, not because I'm paying you, but because you want to. I can't.
Beautifully acted and shot, we're able to feel the characters' regrets as the heartbreaking lyrics wash over the scene. Meanwhile, the sense of longing is powerful, making viewers root even harder for the couple's reunion. Your plane is leaving as scheduled, sir. And you should be back in New York on time. Number 12, Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey, The Great Gatsby. Lana, open the gates. Open the gates! This song was written by Lana Del Rey and Rick Knowles for the 2013 film interpretation of F. Scott Fitzgerald's much-loved novel. Come on, you two, I want the royal tour. You must understand that I like all things that are modern. Presses the R comes out there. Oh. The pop star delivers almost ghostly vocals, with the lyrics both affirming her romantic commitment and wondering how long her love will last. You want for a round of golf? You still know I'm a chubby golf. Great! Go on. <laughs> The tune plays during a particularly happy sequence between Gatsby and Daisy, but its tone doesn't necessarily suggest a happily ever after for the lovers. She makes it look so, so splendid, don't you think, old sport? The track was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Song Written for Visual Media, and if you ask us, it would have been a worthy recipient. Number 11, Secret Garden by Bruce Springsteen, Jerry Maguire. It's not one moment in Jerry Maguire that makes this song stand out, but it's the song's gentle and steady presence throughout the majority of the film that makes the soft rock tune so memorable. Just like Bruce Springsteen's lyrics, Jerry Maguire, played by Tom Cruise, is a closed off character that's afraid of love. But that changes as he falls in love with Dorothy Boyd, played by a vulnerable Renee Zellweger. Work at it. But maybe love shouldn't be such hard work. The song first came out in 1995, but director Cameron Crowe knew it was perfect for the film once he heard it on one of Springsteen's greatest hit CDs. <laughs> Due to the popularity of the film and soundtrack, the tune found itself back into the top 20 of the music charts that year. You pay the price. Let you deep in. Number 10, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith, Armageddon. Sometimes it takes a cataclysmic event to bring two lovers together. Grace and AJ, portrayed by Liv Tyler and Ben Affleck, share one of the film's sweetest moments as the driller operator uses an animal cracker to express his feelings for her. I, I really don't think that the animal cracker qualifies as a cracker. Why? Well, because it's sweet, which to me suggests cookie, and, you know, me putting cheese on something is sort of the defining characteristic of what makes a cracker a cracker. I don't know why I thought of that. I just... Baby, you have such sweet pillow tops. His actions are somehow both sexy and silly as he slides the biscuit down her abdomen. And coupled with the earnest and raw emotion of Steven Tyler's voice, the scene more than works. Now look, as the cheetah approaches, watch as he stalks his prey. The power ballad captures the themes of the film, of wanting to see all of life's moments with loved ones, no matter how small they may be. Cause I miss you, babe. And I don't want to miss a thing. The love tune debuted at number one on Billboard Hot 100 and remains Aerosmith's biggest hit to date. Even when I dream again, the sweetest dream would never do. Number nine, I've Had the Time of My Life by Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes. Dirty Dancing. Now I had the time of my life. No, I never felt like this before. Yes, I swear it's a truth, and I owe it all to you. Cause I had the time of my life, and I owe it all to you. Who hasn't tried to recreate the iconic lift from this scene? We almost didn't get to dance to this version of the song, or even to this song at all, since a Lionel Richie tune was originally meant to close the film. 
But lucky for us, the film's choreographer, Kenny Ortega, chose this now iconic version for Baby and Johnny to dance to. I've been waiting for so long, now I finally found some warm stand by me. And so, at this romantic drama's end, we find the duo expressing their love through dance to the infectious vocals of Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes, which creates the jubilant feeling of love captured on screen. It's the exact opposite feeling that came with the couple's earlier split to Swayze's ballad, She's Like the Wind, which rips them apart. I'll never be sorry. She's taking my heart. Neither will I. She know what she's done. We're glad things ended this way instead. And Number 8, As Time Goes By, by Dooley Wilson, Casablanca. Some of the old songs, Sam. Yes, ma'am. It's one of the most famous love themes from one of the most acclaimed movies of all time. Play it once, Sam, for all time's sake. I don't know what you mean, Miss Elton. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. Dooley Wilson performs the song in Casablanca as Sam, the pianist at Rick's Café American, after Ilsa, a passionate young woman, played by Ingrid Bergman, requests it. You must remember this, a kiss is just a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. Upon hearing the forbidden song, Humphrey Bogart's Rick is stunned to find his former lover in his bar. No matter what the future brings, as time goes by. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. Originally written by Herman Hutfeld in 1931, the song takes on a deeper meaning with this scene's twist, and we're instantly swept up into the couple's love story. And when two lovers woo, they still say I love you, on that you can rely. With lyrics as fundamental and true as a kiss is just a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh, it's no surprise this song has stood the test of time. There's still nobody in the world who can play as time goes by like Sam. Number 7, Moon River by Audrey Hepburn. Breakfast at Tiffany's. This may not be a love song in the most traditional sense of the term. However, the ode to Wanderlust boasts a wistful, romantic tone and paints a picture of two drifters off to see the world. The number won the Academy Award for Best Original Song, as well as two Grammys following its performance in the film by Hepburn. Two drifters off to see the world. It's placed during an intimate moment, as Holly Golightly's neighbour Paul finds her on the fire escape, quietly strumming a guitar and singing to herself. Given the song's themes, it's not only suited to Holly's character arc, but also to the chemistry brewing between the pair. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Writing. Good. Number six, Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. Ghost. Do I? I couldn't sleep. Perhaps one of the sexiest scenes in cinema ever, the on screen action here would be severely lacking without the Righteous Brothers version of this song playing in the background. I need your love. 
Recorded by the musical duo in 1965, Unchained Melody probably wasn't playing on every radio station in 1990 when the movie came out. But thanks to the perfect pairing of the pottery-making turned steamy sex session between Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore's characters, this blue-eyed soul number saw its popularity increase once more. With the yearning of the lyrics and the soaring vocals, it perfectly complements the undeniable emotion and sexual connection between the two characters. Number 5, Up Where We Belong, by Joe Cocker and Jennifer Warnes, an officer and a gentleman. In the final scene of this romantic drama, an instrumental rendition of this song transitions seamlessly into the version with vocals as the end credits roll. Even though we don't hear the words during the film's final moments, we don't need to. The soaring melody does all the talking, with Richard Gere's Zach Mayo and Deborah Winger's Paula Pokrifke in a celebratory mood. With Zach finally having earned the respect of his tough as nails Navy superior, he has a romantic surprise for Paula at her factory job. He scoops her up and carries her out, with her colleagues applauding in support. It's an iconic movie moment, and it wouldn't be the same without this song. Number 4, Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls, City of Angels. This band's signature song was originally written for this romantic fantasy film. Give up forever to touch you. I know that you feel me somehow. The movie follows an angel named Seth, played by Nicolas Cage, who falls for a compassionate and hard-working surgeon. Well, who are you visiting, Mr. Messenger? Right now? Yeah. You. After he willingly falls from grace to be a part of her mortal life, he's stuck trying to track her down, and Iris plays as he finally nears his destination. And all I can breathe is your life. When sooner or later. Songwriter John Resnick based the lyrics on Cage's character and the idea of giving up eternal life to be truly loved. Don't want the world to see me, cause I don't think that they'd understand. The emotional power ballad provides the perfect lead up to the character's reunion at a Lake Tahoe cabin. Number 3, In Your Eyes by Peter Gabriel. Say anything. This was the moment etched into every teen girl's memory. John Cusack as Lloyd Dorbler, standing underneath Diane's window, holding his boombox above his head with this song playing. Lloyd uses the beautiful song to make the grand I want you back gesture and to remind her of their first time. Are you shaking? No. You're shaking. I don't think so. The scene is simple and understated, with uncertainty on Lloyd's face as he waits for Diane's response. You can almost feel his heart breaking as he waits in anticipation, while we simultaneously watch how conflicted Diane is as she listens to the song while lying in bed. Peter Gabriel first released the song in 1986, but its use in this Cameron Crowe film took it to new heights, allowing it to become one of the ultimate declarations of love. Number 2, Take My Breath Away by Berlin, Top Gun. And you think I'm reckless? When I fly, I'll have you know that my crew and my plane come first. Tom Cruise's Maverick met his match when he fell in love with Charlie, 
the flight school instructor played by Kelly McGillis. I see some real genius in your flying, Maverick, but I can't say that in there. I was afraid that everyone in that tax trailer would see right through me, and I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. Brash and somewhat reckless, Maverick and Charlie bumped heads throughout the movie as they fell in love. But eventually both threw away their pride as they consummated their relationship to this breathless power ballad, which is a love theme as vivid and bold as their relationship. The film made the song a number one hit on multiple charts around the world, and won both the Academy Award and Golden Globe for Best Original Song. You can always count on Berlin to take your breath away. Watch it in slow motion as you turn around say, take my breath away. Number one, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston, The Bodyguard. You shouldn't be here. This romantic classic plays during the final scene in the film, during which Whitney Houston's Rachel, a high-profile pop star, is saying her final goodbyes to Kevin Costner's Frank, her bodyguard, only to stop the plane and give him one final kiss. Embrace is nothing short of epic and feels like the bittersweet but appropriate ending for these two. You, my darling, you. The song starts off soft and gentle, but just like the couple's love for one another, it gets deeper and stronger as it goes on. We both know I'm not what you, you need. Houston's soaring vocals helped to make this one of the best-selling film soundtracks of all time, with more than 45 million records sold. The Bodyguard might have been Houston's debut role, but this musical theme on love will remain the performance of a lifetime. Now the only thing that makes a great song better is an awesome music video, and for these steamy picks, we're going to be taking a look at the top 20 most romantic music videos of all time. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most romantic music videos of all time. For this list, we'll be looking at the best visual accompaniment to songs that remind us of falling and being in love. Did we forget one of your favourite music videos? Number 20. Cool. Gwen Stefani. In this underrated music video from Gwen Stefani's solo career, the singer finds herself at a European villa as her old flame and his current partner come to visit. It's hard to During the meetup, she remembers all of the great times they shared together from their past. The stylish visuals give the piece the feel of a vintage romantic drama with their appealing imagery. Beautiful flashbacks allow us to see their previous love affair, watching the pair as they frolic through the streets in romantic interludes. Both the song and the video received the proper treatment in a striking and compelling look at a prior relationship. Uh, 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 uh. 
Number 19. Die a Happy Man Thomas Rhett This tune is all about how the love of his life is all Rhett needs to be happy. That all I need in this life is a crazy love its accompanying music video proves he means every word he sings, bringing the emotion in the lyrics to life visually. The country star and his wife Lauren Aikens can be seen dancing, enjoying the woods and beach, and simply having a good time. I don't need no vacation, no fancy destination. None of their activities are particularly over the top, but the magic of the clip lies in its simplicity. It's their bond that makes each moment special, and we can feel the love between the duo with every look they share. Enhancing the song by adding real-life romance, this video is nothing short of heartwarming. Baby, I could die a happy man. Number 18. I Need You Tim McGraw and Faith Hill Tim McGraw and Faith Hill are among the biggest superstar couples in modern country music. This particular video captures their love through an intimate rendition of their duet, I Need You. So I need you, like a needle needs a vein. Utilizing mood lighting, the minimal stage is set for a romantic evening that only these two can deliver. Their emotive expressions make this acoustic version come alive, with help from a simple and complimentary backdrop. What a rap and move. Delivering passionate performances, both musicians excel at drawing in the audience with their perfect chemistry. It goes to show that you don't need to try too hard to convey the palpable feelings between two people. Ooh, I need you. Number 17. Marry Me. Train. The video for Marry Me begins with a group of couples talking about their own relationships, effectively setting the stage for a tale about finding a soulmate. Forever can never be long enough for me. It then follows a waitress who falls for one of her customers, singer Pat Monahan. Their silent meet cute is downright swoonworthy. Together can never be close enough for me. To feel like I am close enough to you. But he takes off and she sinks into his booth after realizing she might never get a chance to see him again. The touching narrative tugs at the heartstrings using classic rom-com tropes. With fate bringing them back together, the man returns for his hat and the two reconnect in an effective reunion. Mm -hmm. Marry me. Mm -hmm. Number 16. Just the way you are. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars could easily carry any video with just his performance, but this clip for Just The Way You Are offers up an inventive take on typical visual presentations. Mars's on-screen partner listens to a cassette that soon becomes an imaginative canvas for a unique animated sequence. The singer reshapes the tape into various designs that take on a life of their own. Her lips, her lips, I could kiss them all day if she'd let me. Along with serenading his girlfriend, his romantic gesture also presents us with a whole new way to express feelings for someone else. The performer's immaculate vocals certainly don't hurt either. Cause you're amazing, just the Number 15. Hero Enrique Iglesias Enrique Iglesias is a singing heartthrob and the release of his hit Hero definitely helped establish him as such. Would you dance if I asked you to dance? The video follows Iglesias as a man on the run with Jennifer Love Hewitt by his side. Their love story plays out across a desert landscape that recalls the romantic visions of old school westerns. I can be your hero, baby. Iglesias and his partner spend the time swooning over each other, but every great relationship needs a dose of heartbreak. A group of men catch up with the singer, and he later ends up dying in a dramatic climax. Each performer elevates the material beyond its cliches, providing a mini-movie that could easily become its own feature film romance. No Number 14. I Believe in You Michael Bublé Michael Bublé's video for I Believe In You shows viewers the entire arc of a lifelong relationship between two people. Time goes by and I've been holding everything inside. 
Beginning in childhood, the couple meet up and hit it off, embarking on a heartwarming decades-long romance. The man and woman inevitably get married, at which point the clip turns into a full-blown musical. I don't mind. A cute sequence shows the growth of the characters as they stick together through thick and thin, hitting major life milestones along the way. Revealing their unshakable bond, the partners stay with each other until old age. The final moments provide a full circle moment that's worth the wait. I believe in you. Number 13. Someone That Loves You Hon and Izzy Bizu. Hon and Izzy Bizu's electro pop track receives a fitting visual companion with this video. After a chance meeting on the subway, two people explore a possible partnership as they travel through a city together. The beautiful costumes and cinematography work especially well in layering this short with wonderful details. The pair's relationship is shown through a whirlwind of images, some of which leave the romance open to interpretation. From cute dates to a steamy love scene, there's no shortage of memorable moments showing their bond. The open ending allows viewers to either believe in the couple or question their future. However you see it, there's no denying the passion. Number 12. Open. Rye. Rai's track Open has a music video full of moments that feel like they're straight out of an indie movie, as it shows two partners taking a dreamy seaside vacation. I'm a fool for the shake in your the main characters enjoy the luxury of a house that may or may not be theirs in a complicated tale. Both actors bring a nuance to their romance that suggests there are some cracks in the foundation. I wanna make this place. Oh, I know your face. It's not all dour moments either, as they find time to have an intimate moment by the water. Still, their happiness seems to fade as they find themselves in front of the fire. Open to many interpretations, this video explores romance on various levels, and it's captivating. Stay open. Number 11. I Will Always Love You, Whitney Houston Whitney Houston can do no wrong with this video, which features highlights from her starring role in The Bodyguard. I think of you every step the way. The song works as a tribute to her co-star Kevin Costner's character Frank or anyone else's significant other. With her awesome vocals, the singer also fills the moment with an impassioned performance like no other. That is all I'm taking. With me. Houston pines for her former flame in an empty theatre, while romantic flashbacks remind her of all the best times she had with her partner. Leave it to this iconic performer to sell the depth of a bittersweet romance in only a few short minutes. Number 10. Teenage Dream, Katy Perry in her Teenage Dream video, Perry embodies all of the wonder and nostalgia of a past love. You me to life now every February, you'll be my Valentine. The narrative starts with a road trip, with a beach party as the destination. Along the way, the singer and her partner nestle up together and make their way to a motel. It all works as an encapsulation of the perfect day with the one you adore. Flashing between the thrills of an ocean getaway to the couple's alone time, the video and song work together to make us feel like we're experiencing a euphoric evening. The mixture of heartfelt lyrics and images combine in one of Perry's best and most romantic adventures. Number 9. Dreaming of You – Selena this posthumous release's clip tells the intriguing tale of a nighttime rendezvous. A young woman packs her bags and waits for her boyfriend to whisk her away. I stay up and think of you. Her unsuspecting family doesn't know about her plan, providing some additional drama to this story. Dreams of a future and a wedding day flash before the lead character in a number of surreal flourishes. Corazón.
When the driver finally arrives, her dream getaway comes true in a classic moment out of any romantic novel. There's no telling where the two will end up, but this conclusion displays a hopeful message for the runaway couple. Number 8. Secret. Seal. Seal's secret video emanates coolness and sensuality from its first seconds. The talented singer shares the screen with his then-wife Heidi Klum, giving viewers a glimpse into their private life. I'm one of your secrets. In searing black and white, several personal moments play out between the two in a romantic episode that's not easily forgotten. The photography picks a number of choice close-ups that allow both performers to draw the viewer in with their star power. Oh yeah, well I belong to you. It's not hard to watch a music video when two of the most charismatic people in the world come together in a major way. You belong to me. Number 7. All of Me, John Legend. Both living their best lives, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen enjoy each other's company in All of Me. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride. Intercut with quiet and meaningful moments, the clip's greater thesis revolves around Legend's adoration for his partner. Their natural presence together gives off an aura that speaks to the strength of their relationship. And you give me all. One of the most notable images consists of the performer watching Tegan from the window as she gazes back at him. Their romance builds into a cinematic scene where they embrace underwater. Even better, after the song ends, we get a look into their real nuptials. Nobody looks happier or more in love than these two lovebirds, and it's beyond touching. You're my end and my beginning, even when I lose I'm winning, cause I give you all. Me. Number 6. Halo – Beyoncé Beyoncé excels in any of her eclectic music videos. Halo is no different, depicting her as a woman devoted to her partner and to dance. Remember those walls I built? Well, baby, they tumbling down. An intimate moment shared together. She and her partner show their love for each other, lying in bed, playing with the dog, and more. These serene images combine with the surreal as Beyonce plunges underwater in a wedding dress. It all comes down to an extended close-up between the performer and her partner as they have a staring contest in a moment of pure romantic bliss. The romance seeps out of every frame and every note and it's flawless. Number 5. Time After Time – Cindy Lauper Time After Time's video follows Cindy Lauper's character as she struggles to decide between herself and her relationship. She lives with her boyfriend in a trailer and dreams of a fairy tale life that only exists in Hollywood movies. Deciding to embrace her independence, she makes a difficult decision to embark on her own journey. This prompts a final goodbye scene at a train station that is among the sadder and most tender moments in any video. Like many tragic romances before it, the story features a bittersweet ending as the singer abandons her partner in search of something more. Time after time. Time after time. Number 4. Love Story – Taylor Swift one of the best songs from Taylor Swift's fearless era draws on Shakespearean themes to spotlight the universally relatable feeling of falling in love, despite disapproval. We were both young when I first saw you. I closed my eyes. 
tears and the flashback starts. The video for Love Story follows that inspiration as Swift's modern day college student visualizes a romance between them in another era. Taking full advantage of classical outfits and a regal setting, the video allows for a lavish fantasy to take place in her mind. Waking from her daydream, she and her future man connect in a modern-day reunion of sorts. This kind of wish fulfillment is a staple of a great romantic movie, and it makes the video a keeper. Number 3. Thinking Out Loud – Ed Sheeran Thinking Out Loud was far from Ed Sheeran's first major song, but it did get major attention. Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. The accompanying music video proved he was a star as he traded elaborate concepts for a stripped down dance. Sheeran and his partner fill an empty ballroom in an intimate routine, hearkening back to some classic on screen dances. Take me into your loving arms. With a limited set and cast list, the remainder of the clip uses a romantic and simplistic approach until its final touching moment. The two characters play out the entire love story through their movements, showing that you don't need words to demonstrate your convictions. Maybe we found love right where we are. Or maybe we found love right where we are. And we found love right where we are. Number 2. Wicked Game – Chris Isaac Chris Isaac's rockabilly sound and incredible voice crafted Wicked Game, but that's not all people remember about the song. His most memorable video feels like a fantasy like no other. Featuring model Helena Christensen, the Hawaiian set story creates a captivating collection of sensual and romantic scenes. What a wicked game to play Make me feel this way. Both performers take advantage of the beach, staying close to each other in intimate, sandy and sun-kissed moments. Legendary director Herb Ritt artfully makes sure that little is left to the imagination as the pair enjoy each other's company. The overall vibe is a perfect fit for the laid-back love track. Oh, Number 1. Take On Me – Aha There are few music videos that mix energetic pacing, dreamy visuals and exciting thrills quite like Take On Me. Aha might be considered a one-hit wonder by many, but this delightful segment features some of the most iconic and enchanting images in the history of the medium. The central character finds herself transported into an animated world, with a prince charming stand-in leading her through an adventure. There's a part of every viewer that wishes they could have just one day half as charming as this one. One of the defining videos of the 80s, it works as a romantic touchstone with its fantastical narrative.
We hope you enjoyed this brand new episode of Watch Mojo Specialty Hour. Hopefully you have some new picks for your Netflix queue or Spotify playlist this Valentine's Day. And if your Valentine's Day isn't going too good, at least know that Watch Mojo loves you.